evening, everybody. Uh, Stuart Hogg with you. This is for immediate use. Uh, following Stuart will be head coach Gregor Townsend. So Gregor will do a very short Monday section as well. So immediate use, Stuart, is now yours. Um, that means a, hu a huge deal to us all. I think during the week we, we kind of looked at, you know, if we got everything right, uh, both sides of the ball, we give ourselves every opportunity to come down here and win. Um, and today we've done exactly that. You know, I thought we were had a clinical edge in, in our attack um, and defensively we, we fronted up on, uh, you know, any time England you know, were attacking us, we, we stood firm and had a lot of dominant collisions. So, um, you know, I'm incredibly proud of the boys' efforts. Um, and now we get excited about the next challenge. Um, just incredibly proud of the boys. I think you know during the week, as I said, we we believed as individuals um, and we believed as a, as a collective that we can come down here and win, um, and, and we kept that to ourselves, which was which was incredible for us. But I, I felt we were we were, in, we were calm and in control of the whole game. You know, Finn and Ali drove us around the field really well. You know, Jamie and uh, the rest of the defensive boys um, worked incredibly hard for us. So. I think we put it down to a huge squad effort. You know, we've had thirty odd boys within this camp over the last couple of weeks, and we've enjoyed each other's company. We, we've worked incredibly hard in the training field, um, and believed in each other. Uh, and ultimately, that's the 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 reason why we're in this position. Um, but yeah, no, I think now, uh, don't get me wrong, we'll, we'll enjoy tonight. But but come Monday, we'll get back on the horse and, and ready to go because next week is a, another challenge for us and one that we're excited about. As I said, I, I felt really, really calm. You know, I, I believed in the boys' ability. I think, you know, Finn um, and Ali brought a huge amount of calmness to, to the way that we were playing and the rest of the boys were actually excited about the opportunities um, and the way that we were speaking to, t uh, to each other was, was 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 huge for us. I think we were, you know, really positive in everything that we were, we were doing um, and that's something we've worked hard on over the last little while. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, it wasn't perfect, uh, but that's the exciting thing is we, we can still improve and um, we'll get excited about that. Stuart, you've been part of some big Scotland victories in the past, either in, in the Six Nations or in, in Auckland internationals as well. Where does this rank in, in terms of, you know, is it possibly your proudest moment in a Scotland jersey? It's definitely up there. I think for me, you know, I had a huge amount of belief within the boys um, to come down here and win, um, and the way that we were speaking to each other throughout the whole kind of last couple of weeks uh, and today, um, I felt we were in control throughout the kind of sixty of the eighty minutes. Um, even when we came in at half time, you know, obviously Finn, Finn in the bin, we were still calm. You know, we still had a huge influence on what we were doing. You know, Gregor spoke really well at half time. We knew exactly what we were doing going into the second half, um, and we executed it to the best of our abilities. Um, uh, and we chuffed to bits with it. Stuart, you were brought up in the borders. You know, you're all, you know, you're, you're steeped in Scottish history. How does it feel on a personal level from the point of view that you joined Roy Lee, Ross, Todd, and through the new position at AHP? Surely that gives an extra bit of meaning as well. I look, I, I'm a proud Scotsman, like the rest of the boys that were involved in today's game. And, you know, as I said earlier, we, we truly believed that we could come down here and win. And to have actually done it is... An unbelievable feeling, um, and as I said, we'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy these. We'll live in the moment. Um, we'll enjoy it for the next kind of twenty-four hours or so, uh, and we'll get excited about our next challenge. It's it's one thing being able to win a game. It's another thing being able to back it up and, and go again next week. So, look, I think this is the kind of third or fourth time in twenty years that Scotland have won the first game in the Six Nations. So, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Thank you. Oh, look, I think it was just uh, our ability as individuals and as a collective. We knew we could come down here and win if we got it right. Um, in terms of going forward, we'll, we'll look ahead to the Wales game now. I think the exciting thing for us now is when we look back at this game, we'll see that there was you know, a few opportunities that we probably let go um, and where we can improve, which is exciting for us. And 
you know, we'll look to make amends and <clears throat> get ready, get excited uh, about taking on Wales next week. Yeah, I think the, the focus point for us was, was very much on the, the first 20 minutes of the game and making sure that we fronted up physically uh, both sides of the ball. Um, and we'd done that. And I knew, you know, going into the game, if we got that right, we'd grow in confidence. And going into half time, as I say, we were kind of under the pump ever so slightly, but we talked again about the next kind of uh, quarter of the game being massive for us. And, and we grew and we grew and we grew as the game went on. And that was really pleasing to see. And, uh, you know, boys were listening to the messages that were coming on listening to the game plan that we've we've tried to implement throughout the last couple of weeks. And we enjoyed executing it. We enjoyed being a part of each other's company and fronting up for Scotland. And we talked a lot about the last couple of weeks of lifting a nation. Uh, and I believe we've done that today. Thanks. Last question for Stuart, please. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers, guys. In 2019, cameras followed the Brisbane Boys College First 15 during the most anticipated season in their history. We don't have a great record of success out of all the GPS schools. We haven't won it since 1954. No team's ever won an outright premiership at BUC. One, two, three, Boys! Go! The season documented the team as they fell agonisingly short of their maiden outright title. What a hit! You can't throw it out, it's a penalty! Stop, you could have won! But in the fragmented year that followed for sport, the BBC story was not quite complete. Join us for the final chapter of a victory 100 years in the making. <laughs>